part of its Zowie series, the BenQ S1 and S2s are not too different at face value. The S1 is suited for slightly larger hands, whereas the S2 is a smaller and lighter variant. They both share an ambidextrous design, although I don't think they'd be suited for left-handed users, only because the side buttons on the mouse are more easily accessed when used right-handed. There is also a slight taper to the front of the mouse, which gives you a nice grip if you're either a fingertip or a claw grip user. And in particular, the taper helps with most FPS titles. For palm grip users out there though, I'd suggest going with the S1 instead. Given its matte finish, I really like how the mouse feels in the hand, and secondly, it avoids any smudge buildup. Being a lightweight mouse, at 82 grams, it's so much easier to use for gaming as well. BenQ's even made sure to get the little things right, like the slightly angled cable, which means it doesn't rub against the surface when you're using the mouse. I know more serious esports users might prefer using a bungee with this mouse, which basically supports the wire of the mouse for uniform tension, but I think it could be used without one as well. While the majority of the mouse is matte, the side buttons, as I mentioned earlier, are glossy, which is a nice touch to be honest, as that makes you easily identify them. The mouse switches themselves are made from Huano, which are known to have a firm and satisfying click. They're easy to press, and I think you'd love the buttons on games that require you to do a lot of clicking. But if there's something bad to point out about the mouse, it's the scroll wheel. It's quite raised and when using it, you get a loud response. Scrolling is also not the smoothest, so I think for day-to-day -day activity, you might want to use a different mouse with this mouse exclusively for your gaming sessions. That being said, let's address the biggest question about this mouse. How is it a gaming mouse without any sort of RGB or flashy lighting? Well, BenQ wants to ensure you carry your gaming mouse anywhere, and so the S1 and S2 offer a plug-and-play experience without the need to install any extra software on your machine. And I'm totally fine with that. The sensor is the most important aspect of a gaming mouse anyway, and the PixArt PMW3360 sensor on the mouse is used widely on almost every single other high-end professional gaming mouse. There's no jitter or lift-off problems, and the mouse can be used on practically any surface. Out of the box, BenQ also provides replacement feet, which is a nice touch. Continuing on the gaming aspects of the mouse, we've got buttons to control the DPI and the polling rate. You get a nice range going from 400 up to 800, then 1600 and then 3200 when it comes to DPI, while the polling rate can be controlled from 125Hz all the way to 500Hz and then to 1000Hz. The polling rate basically means the amount of times the mouse reports its position to your computer. If you're wondering. There's no right or wrong configuration here, but I think for people used to truly custom settings, which are only possible to configure through a dedicated software, this might come off as a limitation. Also, for people who need a higher DPI for whatever reason, the mouse might not cut it. But on the whole, the BenQ, Zowie S1 and S2 are solid mid-range devices. For someone focused on gaming performance alone, there's no real argument. They make very few real-world sacrifices and I think you should really look into one, especially if you're interested in esports and professional gaming. So that wraps up our take on the Zowie S1 and S2. Let us know what you think about them down in the comments below and make sure to like and subscribe. This was Vabhav and I'll see you in the next one. Adios.